My name is Aisha Haziri. Um, I'm on the Management Graduate Scheme at Arriva London. I joined in September 2014 and I've been here just over a year. So I, whilst in my final year at uni, um, I, just, I was studying international business management at university, so I always knew that I wanted to be um, in a management role. I started looking online at graduate jobs um, and various programmes they had. Um, whilst I was looking, I came, up, I came up on the Areva Graduate Scheme. Um, I went on to areva.co.uk and looked into, looked into it a bit more, um, the role that they were offering, the training, it just really, it was really appealing to me. Um, and it was a challenge because I never knew nothing about the transport industry and I thought working in line with TFL would be a great responsibility to have. So I got offered my job in April. Um, I then graduated from university in June, July. Um, I started with Arriva in September. In the past 12 months, I've done a range of different placements across all core areas of, of the business. Um, I started in personnel, recruitment. Um, I was also waiting for my provisional license to come through so I could start my training as a bus driver. That was one of my first placements and probably the most daunting for me. Um, but it was a great, great experience um, le learning to drive the bus. It was, it was, I got, sort of got over the fear of it um, after a few weeks, you know, my nerves settled down. but. It was just so valuable to be able to relate to drivers um, and, and be able to understand sort of what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it's very easy to just, as a passenger, to see the role differently than as of when you're actually doing the role. Um, it, it, it is a stressful role and it, it enables you to understand them in a lot more, a lot more depth. Um, that took me up to Christmas, um, so Christmas holidays, and then when I came back in January I started my garage supervisor placement which would take me up to March. Um, garage supervisor role was my first point of contact um, with drivers essentially behind the counter in a garage. Looking at driver allocation, allocating drivers to their jobs, their holidays, um, dealing a lot with sickness and absenteeism which is probably a m main area of what the, the garage supervisors do with. I also did a placement with a commercial team and that was personally one of my best placements. I really enjoyed my time there. Um, I grew up with an entrepreneurial family so I've always been business minded. minded. Um, getting to see the commercial side of business was really really interesting because although in London your, your prime customer is TFL there's not a lot of space to do marketing or put your own spin on things so the commercial my commercial placement was the first point of me sort of going, heading in that direction to see that side of the business. Um, I, I was taught how to compile a schedule, so for a potential bus route that we would have bidded for um, with TFL, I got to see how a schedule is compiled, put together, and then um, how we attach a cost, so how we attach our bid to that, and obviously all the variable costs that go in there. Um, after commercial, I then did a control placement, so service regulation. Um, I got to work with some of the controllers up in the IBUS centre, um, which is really chaotic. Um, they've got screens and all you can see is these boxes moving everywhere and every box is a, is a bus. Um, it's really, really hectic, um, so I yeah, really admire what the controller does, handles a lot of stress. Um, so that I got taught how to regulate a bus service, um, when to curtail a bus or when to sell, send a bus out early or late. Um, that was a really good practical skill to have, which then led me on to engineering. Um, engineering was interesting. I knew nothing about bu buses in an engineering sense, so um, I got to learn a lot. Not specifically the technicalities of how to fix a bus, but more so how engineering relates to operations and how ops and engineering need to work together in order for a gar garage to run efficiently. So it was really interesting as well to see how the two work together. But I got to work in business finance, um, looking at how our profit is calculated and how we can improve those levels and obviously give Deutsche Bahn a good return on their investment in us. Which led me up to um, what I'm doing currently, which is Deputy Operating Manager. This is my final placement. Um, so this should take me up sort of for the, it should at least keep me going for the next three four months this is a prime role this is exactly what, where I'd like to see myself in the future 
um, managing a garage, working alongside the GS, the garage supervisors and the engineering team and managing the drivers essentially, um, looking at ways to improve efficiency in the garage, looking at ways to keep our team motivated, um, retain our staff position and ultimately retain routes and win more routes. Um, it's a very competitive industry to be in, it's very cutthroat so obviously we're key in ensuring Arriva's future and our success here. So really, really enjoying being a part of it right now. Working for Arriva, it's a great place to work. Um, Everyone's so friendly, you get a really warm, inclusive feeling here, regardless of whether you've, you've been here for 40 years and you've come through the ranks from driver to GS to manager, or if, like myself, you've just come in at graduate level and you know absolutely nothing about the industry. It is very inclusive and everyone makes you feel part of the team. Um, it's also a really exciting time to join Arriva as well. Um, obviously, Arriva's a long-standing company in, um, in London. Um, but given the, the environment now, times are changing and Arriva is changing with those times. So as a young graduate, bringing a fr having just a fresh pair of eyes or bringing something you've learnt in your university or there's things that you want to apply, there is definitely space and there's room for those ideas to come to life. So I would definitely say now's the time to, to apply.